Hey everyone, I have the perfect sweet treat for you. This thick and creamy hot chocolate will carry you straight through the winter and become your go-to dish when you need a pick-me-up or to warm up through those cold winter months. Let's check out how I created this delicious thick and creamy hot chocolate. Let's start things off by adding three quarters of a cup of full fat milk or cream to a medium sized dish. For those of you who are lactose intolerant, the risk is yours. To this, add one teaspoon of cornstarch. We need to whisk this until it's fully dissolved and then you're going to set this aside for later. Now add two and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder to a fine wire strainer or a sieve. Sift the cocoa powder to remove the lumps by tapping. If there are any lumps left over, use the back of a spoon just to crush them and then keep tapping. To this we are adding two tablespoons of sugar. Stir and make sure it's as combined as you can get it. Again, we're going to set this aside. Now onto the burner, into a saucepan add 3 quarters of a cup and 1 tablespoon of that full fat milk and cream. Again, this is why I say drink this at your own risk if you're lactose intolerant. Make sure you bring this to a boil but keep your eye on it, milk can overflow really quickly and bubble oil over, making a huge mess. Next let's stir in that milk and cornstarch mixture but be sure to turn the burner down to low at this point. Give it a good stir. Then we are going to slowly combine the cocoa powder and sugar. Take your time with this stage, make sure you whisk it in really well and wipe down those edges with a rubber spatula. It just makes things a lot easier and you can get all of that powder off of the sides of the saucepan. Now add half a cup of dark chocolate chips, stir for about three to five minutes until this is nice and thick. You're going to see it thicken up eventually. Now add this to your favorite cup. Of course, as a Friends fan, I'm using my Central Perk mug. Look how thick and creamy this is. This is the most decadent chocolate I have ever had and it will by far be the best hot chocolate I ever make. Of course, I'm going to top things off with marshmallows. You can add chocolate chips, nuts, cinnamon, other spices, and just enjoy. Top with some whipped cream, and look at this beautiful, thick hot chocolate. Give this a try throughout fall and winter. You're going to fall in love with it. Until next time, take care and enjoy. Bye!